Breaking news, the Chicago Bears have their new special teams coordinator as they have hired Richard Hightower from the San Francisco 49ers. So let's talk about it. what is going on, y'all. Fox Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So, of course, if you are a Bears fan, make sure you are locked into the channel by subscribing, by hitting the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video and by following me on my social media platforms. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get into it. So Richard Hightower is the guy in Chicago now running the special teams. And here's the thing. We all, including myself, expected this to go to Rich Bisaccia, right? The former head coach or interim head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, it turns out the Bears are not going in that direction. Now, from what I've read and heard, it seems like maybe the price tag for Rich was getting a little rich. No pun intended. And um, maybe the Bears weren't willing to pay that uh, for whatever reason. Or there's still some head coaching jobs open and Rich Versace is really looking to land one of those. So it seems like he's got his sights set on bigger and better things uh, than just having to settle for a special teams coordinator position. But for whatever the reason may be, the Bears couldn't wait. They wanted to snag somebody up, and they did in Richard Hightower from the 49ers. So let's give you guys a little bit of background on him. All right, so Richard Hightower was the 49ers special teams coordinator for five seasons. So he did held that position or hold that position, if I can speak properly, for a decent amount of time. Fun fact, he was the assistant special teams coach with the Bears back in 2016, actually. So he has worked for the Bears before. So coming back here, he's 41 years old. So still relatively young when you talk about a coaching lifespan. So what do I feel about this hire? And uh, let me start by saying this, folks. Okay. It looks like this would be a good hire, right? Because we all saw what happened with the 49ers special teams versus the Packers special teams in the playoffs. Essentially, the reason why the Packers, uh, you know, went home and ended up watching playoffs on the couch like the rest of us because their, their special teams let them down a lot, all right? And credit goes to the 49ers special teams. Obviously, their coordinator playing a big part in that. But when you dig a little deeper into the rankings, and this is coming from Rick uh, Goslin from SI.com, uh, take a look at the special teams rankings. Uh, the 49ers special teams was actually ranked, you know, bottom 10, bottom five in the league, um, or not five, bottom 10 in the league at 25th overall out of 32 teams. And that's not very good. So again, I know everybody wants to focus on the playoff game against the Packers and oh my goodness, the 49ers special team so good. Overall in the season, they were not very good. And the Bears actually, uh, you know, with our previous special teams coordinator who is not no longer here, were ninth so the bears special team was actually a top 10 unit in the nfl and that's what happens right when you have a good a coordinator they tend to get uh, a better job or leave and so again this on surface seems like it would be a good hire but if you look more in depth it looks like the bear special team is getting worse now hopefully it's not that much worse and we've got the players in position, but I feel pretty solid about our special teams. Again, I, I feel like with Carlos Santos, I'm completely comfortable with him being our kicker. And I think we should be fine. But yeah, just to keep that in mind here, folks, you know, looking at the numbers and looking at where the 49ers special teams ranked, it was not very good overall in the season, but they showed up when it mattered the most. So overall, I felt I feel like this is a... You know, an okay hire. Uh, I don't think this is a home run hire. Rich Passaccia would have been the home run hire. And the Bears didn't land him. So, got to be honest with you there, folks. Uh, if we landed Rich, I'd feel amazing about this. I'd feel like it was a home run. And we didn't. We we landed Richard Hightower, who, again, I'm sure can be solid. But the numbers don't say that he is or was solid last season. So, let's see what happens here, folks. But just giving you guys the real. And you guys know I don't back down from letting you guys know how I truly feel. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Richard Hightower, if you like this hire or not. Again, I think it's an okay hire. Um, I think it's solid, but not spectacular. Leave a comment down below as always.